So this is going to be my bathroom tour. I personally enjoy watching those on YouTube myself. And if you want to just see quickly before and after, I'm going to cut the clips right now. And if you want to see more details, what everything's from. Just, uh, just to clarify, this bathroom is in the basement. I live in duplex, so it's totally worth it uh, doing a uh, bathroom in the basement for the value of the house. Plus, our bathroom upstairs is really tiny, so we want to have some. weeks later after we started as you can see it's a mess um, I already got most of the items like toilet bathtub here it is sink um, so basically just accessories left for me and um, there's still some technical items missing like more pipes fittings and stuff here we are this on here is the bathtub. I'm still struggling with the shower. It didn't fit my dream rain shower. I'm not gonna have one. Okay, here's gonna be toilet, sink. Here we are, the lights are in. I'll call it spaceship because of all these buttons. really happy with the service um, so yeah let's move on the lights I will probably change them because apparently they don't fit really well with the design now the mirror is really cool oh let me show you yeah it gives that special vibe so that mirror is from Costco Costco has a lot of good stuff um, for bathrooms so if you're in the middle of your renovation, I suggest to check it out. I have their membership, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the fun is also from Costco and this shower. Uh, it's really nice. It has this massage option that is light. It's perfect for face. It's So yeah, I really recommend that shower. It's $89, by the way. And the fun is also $89. It's sensor activated. I think there is a fun at Renault Depot for 200 plus something and it has light in it and I think it has speakers so it's pretty fancy so again if you're in the middle of your bathroom renovation you might consider uh, buying that special fun uh, at Renault Depot or wherever yeah. but the sink is from Renault Depot again the cheapest uh, I could find that looks more or less okay I like the way it looks and it really matches the tiles 
surprisingly. Um, well, the accessories, I think it's from Pimmers, but it doesn't really matter. Um, what I really like is the faucet. Does change um, the color. Gosh, my OCD kicks in. Anyways, um, so I got a lot of items from Amazon online. I strongly recommend it. I have my Prime membership, so I'm pretty happy with it. And they were cheaper than Reno Depot, Home Depot, whatever. Uh, so this one even has the light, and it is twice cheaper than the regular faucet from Reno Depot. Uh, the only thing you might consider is a uh, waterfall one, it's pretty strong, so you might need a bigger sink for it because as you can see it's like splashes a lot of um, drops around it. Otherwise I'm pretty happy with it. Then this towel rack, rack is also from Amazon. I got the cheapest one, it was hundred something dollars. Um, but it has this ugly wire coming out, so if you want um, a better one, the one that's plugs right here um, it would cost probably 200 more 200 plus dollars okay um, now this is a regular rack for showers and stuff I think it's from Walmart <laughs> this seat is really weird um, I know it looks oversized but it's because it's from Amazon and it's a, it's a big bidet, bidet. I hope I don't have to. I don't have to explain what that one is for. It is pretty useful. I think it cost me 130 tucks in. Uh, there are prettier ones uh, on Amazon, but they cost 300 dollars, 200 plus. So yeah. So it has this huge, huge remote. Um, yeah, and it has a few options you can see here. So as I said, that's the cheapest one I could find, that's why it looks pretty big. I think the seat is heated, not I think, it is heated, so for winter it's pretty cool. And you'll stay warm. <laughs> now, this uh, bathroom kezi, how they call it, it's from Amazon, 35 bucks, totally worth it. I haven't taken the bath here yet, but I really like the way it looks. Um, so you can put your iPad here or a book and you can even decide how, like, how big it is to hold it. Here you can put your phone, and here you can put your glass of wine or whatever. I mean, I don't drink, so it's just for decoration purposes here. Um, the shower. We had a lot of trouble with the shower because we absolutely wanted to have a flexible one. And, you know, for washing the bath and for washing yourself, flexible shower is pretty much needed. Um, but the ones, the shower says they sell here. They all go with a regular shower and they're very ugly. I mean, I wanted to have a rain shower, but because the ceiling here is so low, as you can see, uh, we couldn't find the right size. There are nice massage showers, and by the way, a lot of them are cheap on Amazon, so check it out. And if you're in the US, you're very lucky, everything is so cheap there, <laughs> comparing to Canada. Uh, so finally, we got the, the regular shower set, the faucet and everything, and I just got the flexible shower and added it from Costco. Okay, another uh, thing I had to struggle with is uh, the ceiling's height. So as you can see, it's pretty low. I wanted to have uh, sliding shower doors here, the glass ones, but I couldn't find um, any glass doors that would fit because all of them were too high. So finally I settled uh, for the curtains and just a life hack for you, if you also have to settle for curtains, use the double one, it always looks better because this is the tissue one on the outside. These closets, hi. I like it that it has a mirror so it has kind of this infinite option once you enter. And this linen closets, uh, closet is from Ikea. Uh, this is the corner one, as you can see, so if you have some small corners, it fit, fits perfectly. Uh, well, this is my washing machine and a dryer. Um, I've had it for a long time, <laughs> nothing special about it. 
Okay, this is the basket for dirty laundry. I don't remember where I got it from, but I think from Heart. Yeah, probably from Heart. Um, yeah, looks nice here. And the last but not least are the tiles. Oh, wait, I haven't shown you here the hangers or the door. And the, I think from Walmart. Um, yeah, so the tiles. We spent a lot of money on the tiles. I mean, if you compare it to the market, uh, they were pretty expensive because the sink, the toilet, and the bath were the cheapest I could find with more or less decent look. Um, the tiles were not cheap. It took us three trips to choose the tiles <laughs> because we were bringing all the boxes all together here and that was a mistake because when you buy the tiles in Canada at specialized stores, when you bring it back, they ask you for 15% fee because you're returning it. So be careful with the tiles and just maybe take a few samples, try it at home, both for the top and then for the floor together. It's very important. And yeah, then you'll know which one you prefer. But don't buy like all together like we did. Bring all the boxes in and then return them and then pay 15% for it. So we basically chose the tiles that were displayed at the store. <laughs> yeah, that was, there was a display shower just like that. It, so we knew it would look nice together. The tile at the bath, uh, it's called Valentino. Supposedly it's a fancy one. It does look very nice. And this one is, uh, it's not marble, it's ceramic, I think. Looks like marble. It's uh, very nice. We were risking it to take the black one because, you know, it's black and this uh, bathroom is very small. Uh, but finally, I'm very happy personally because it looks nice and it's glossy. A lot of people told us, oh, don't buy the glossy one because it's dangerous, you're gonna sleep on it. Well, we don't have kids, we don't have old people here, so when if not now to use the glossy tiles, right? So that was it. I hope it inspired you and if you're in the middle of your innovation, stay strong, I understand. And I hope some of the advice were handsy which is basically about the tiles. So yeah, bring the samples, don't bring the entire boxes, be patient with the tiles, it's very important and it's worth to spend more money on it. Absolutely. Um, this mirror with the light is from Costco, so check Costco if you have your, their membership or if you know someone who does. They have some good quality stuff for bathroom and for home in general that are usually cheaper than the rest of the market. And for accessorized and the faucets, and towel racks and showers, a lot of other stuff. And this uh, seeds look at Amazon because, but compare the prices, some things at Amazon are more expensive than we know Depot, so it's worth checking. Um, and if you have Prime membership, you'll, you'll have delivery. And you can return your items to Amazon if you're new to it. Uh, I personally returned the light and the other toilet seat to them already and got my refund. Just keep the box and that's it, you ship it back for free. And it's worth checking out these <laughs> seats. I know before it used to be only Japanese toilets like that. I personally thought it would cost like a thousand dollars to have a toilet with a bidet option. Uh, but it's no longer the case. Yeah, you can just buy this seat separately online and it's worth it. It's heated, perfect for winter. It has this remote. All you need is uh, to connect uh, uh, cold water to it. And uh, what else do you need? Uh, the socket, the outlet nearby. Yeah, that's it. And I'll probably accessorize more. It's only the beginning, but for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.